welcome back to Shakespeare. We have made it to the end of Act 3, Scene 2 of Henry VI, Part 2, and today we get to hear from the Duke of Suffolk. Um, this was a very long scene, and a lot happened. At the beginning of it, Gloucester was killed, and Suffolk said he was going to pay the murderers, and then the king comes in and Suffolk goes to get Gloucester, but comes back and says Gloucester's dead and the king is well with me and the queen is like, why am I here? And Warwick does some CSI to determine that he was murdered and narrows down the suspect list to be Beaufort and um, Suffolk. And Salisbury comes in and is like, the people really distrust Suffolk and they want you to banish him. So the king banishes Suffolk and then everybody leaves except for the Queen and Suffolk who are having this like lovely heartfelt goodbye because they're secretly in love with each, with each other or some such thing. And they're getting all mushy and all that sort of thing. And yesterday was the Queen's chance to be like, oh, I cannot live without you. I don't want to live without you. And then in the middle of their, their parting, Vo walks in and is like, hey, guess what? Cardinal Beaufort is really sick all of a sudden and on the brink of death. And then they're like, okay, so go tell the king that. And then the Duke of Suffolk and Queen Margaret just like pick up right where they left off in their lovey-dovey goodbyes. And the Duke of Suffolk says, if I depart from thee, I cannot live. And in thy sight to die, what were it else but like a pleasant slumber in thy lap? Here could I breathe my soul into the air, as mild and gentle as the cradle babe dying with mother's dug between its lips, where from thy sight I should be raging mad and cry out for thee to close up mine eyes, to have thee with thy lips to stop my mouth. So shouldst thou either turn my flying soul, or I should breathe it so into thy body, and then it lived in sweet Elysium. To die by thee were but to die in jest, from thee to die were more, were torture more than death. Oh, let me stay, befall what may befall. So he gets all weepy about it too. I can't live without you. I'd rather die with you than die not with you because being without you is just like being dead and blah, 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 blah. And she's like, uh, and he ends with, so let me stay. And she's like, no, really, you should go. And he's like, okay, fine, I'll go. And there's the stage direction. Uh, he kiss, kisseth her. So they do exchange love tokens of a sort in a physical sense. And then they go to part ways and then the scene ends and we get to move on from the play and see what else is happening because Humphrey isn't the only one that people wanted to take down. There's still that whole like the Duke of York wants the crown kind of a thing. So we'll see if we can get back towards some of that and we'll see where the rest of the play goes. I'll see you tomorrow for more. Mwah.